coming at ya. Today, we've got Old Leg Humper. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> this is from Thirsty Dog Brewing Company out of Akron, Ohio. Again, Akron is in the same neighborhood as uh, uh, Hoppin' Frog. And this one comes again from Intermezzo 1257. Thank you again so much, sir. This was a little bonus uh, he put in on our trade. So this should be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one popped open. Okay, so this is a robust porter. Weighs in at 6.7% ABV. We don't know what the IBUs are on this. It's black. I mean, this is just, look at that. That's a, it is absolutely black. It has about a one finger um, off-white head. Well, kind of a tan, tan to khaki in color. Very tight bubbles, I don't know if you can tell. Um, so all right, let's get a nose on it. It's not a real strong aroma on it here. I'm getting some roasted malts. I get some chocolate off of it. Get a little bit of maybe a hint of coffee. Get a little bit of chocolate. Get a bit of roasted malts. It's almost like a slightly bready aroma to it as well. All right, so cheers. Let's give this one a shot. Yeah, the flavor is pretty mild, and uh, it's it's fairly well carbonated, I would say, for a porter uh, on the medium high side. It's silky, almost a little oily, very smooth flavor on it. Has uh, uh, the the biggest feature is roasted malts, uh, a little bit of a. Uh, a, a light bite from the the hop on the back side or starting in the middle but it's light it's not a heavy bite at all um, kind of some interesting almost off flavors but I think that has to do with the carbonation being high kind of doesn't sit right on the tongue yeah it's like really small carbonated you'd almost think it was on nitro really small carbonated bubbles just keep exploding on the tip of your tongue. And you have that bitterness really hitting your tongue quite a bit. More of like a, you know, a bitter, like a, like dark malt type flavor. I did a bit of reading on this in between. Has uh, two types of roasted malts, uh, as well as a roasted chocolate malt on it. It's unfortunate though, you, you don't pick up a lot of the chocolate. And I think maybe the two different roasted malts are why uh, the, the roast flavors are so rich, um, or strong, I should say, would be a better word. And I think it kind of drowns out the, the tones of the chocolate flavors, which was too bad, because that was the one thing I was thinking for a robust uh, porter, you would want to get more of those chocolate flavors through. They're some kind of, they're, they're different roasted malts. It's kind of a different roasted flavor, whatever they did. Uh, and there's not enough maltiness almost in a way. Um, it doesn't have your, your typical porter type flavors really. Um, so I can't rate it that high style wise. So I think as a robust porter, I've got to put it more in the C plus category. I would give it a 78. And personally, um, I think particularly also due to the carbonation, it's just a little high. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's just not sitting quite right on the tongue, which is unfortunate. So overall, I'm going to give it a 75, which is a straight C grade on that one. Anyway, it might be something that you want to get fresh off the tap if it's possible. This is the Old Leg Humper. Certainly has a fantastic bottle. <laughs> this is Kevin from Clement's Homebrew saying, Life is too short to drink cheap beer. And I will see you on the next peer review.